Many of these people are fighting for our country right now. And we are not paying them. And we are here today because we are concerned about our safety, our security, and our economic stability, our jobs. You know, for years, the right has vilified federal workers as nameless, faceless bureaucrats. But the truth is, they are air traffic controllers. They're food inspectors. They are transportation security officers and law enforcement. They are the people who live and work in our communities. And they are being hurt. These people have a tremendous sense of commitment to the safety of our country. I've been to the training facility for law enforcement and for our transportation security officers. And they commit to a mission to keep our transportation system running with free movement and the interstate commerce that our country is so dependent upon. And they are coming to work without paychecks, sleeping in their cars, between shifts because they can't afford the gas to get to work so they're staying there. Are we less safe today? We are less safe today. Aviation unions had an emergency meeting last night to review these issues. We understand that the critical networks of layers of safety and security are not in place because we have people furloughed who fill those roles, and the people on the front lines who understand what will happen when the planes stop are still coming to work. We shouldn't throw the term patriot around glibly. Many of these people are our veterans. Many of these people are fighting for our country right now, and we are not paying them. They are worried about the safety and security of their own families as they come to work every day to ensure the safety and security of all of us. Now, as flight attendants, we know what happens when there is a gap in security. I am a Boston-based flight attendant. I lost my dear friends on 9-11, and my profession changed forever. Not only are we aviation's first responders, we are the last line of defense. And we are going to work today understanding that the layers of security that need to be there, the layers of security that were put in place after 9-11 when the TSA was created are not there. The critical analysis that happens because we federalized our workforce and we can integrate our security assessment with all of the agencies who do that work that is in place for a reason. So the people on the front lines who are the transportation security officers are doing that without that backing right now. Without the integration of the intelligence of the FBI, who is also on furlough right now. Without the intelligence of the cybersecurity members of DHS who are on furlough right now. This is about our safety and security and our jobs and our entire country's economic stability. No one will get out of this unscathed if we do not stop this shutdown. Leader McConnell, you can fix this today. If you don't show the leadership to bring your caucus to a vote to open the government today, then we are calling on the conscientious members of your caucus to do it for you. There is no excuse to continue this. This is not a political game. Open the government today.